Happy snow day number two. This week we voted today and most of you thought we would have no school and you were correct. So luckily we talked about what our job would be if we didn't have school today. So most of you have a really good idea. I will go over all of that in a little bit, but I promised you I would read another book. So I stopped by the book fair after conferences last night and I picked out a new book. We have read several books by this author in our March Madness Tournament of Books. Um, this is the author of Cat Problems and The Smart Cookie. And I think a lot of you will recognize the similarities in this book to The Bad Seed and The Good Egg. We read both of those this year in kindergarten. So the book I wanna read today is called The Couch Potato. Okay, this is by Jory John and illustrated by Pete Oswald. Couch potato. I am a potato. Not a small potato like my brother. Not a sweet potato like my mother. Not a mashed potato like my Uncle Stu. I'm a couch potato. Oh yeah, it's true. My favorite place to slouch is on the couch. I spend all my free time sitting in this exact spot. Ah, why would I ever leave this comfy, cozy couch? It's got everything a potato could need. See, I have this and this and one of these and those and this and that and these. You see those pictures? Oh, and this, check it out. This button activates a gadget that fetches me snacks whenever I want. Bam. Impressed, and I don't have to move an inch. Much easier than going all the way to the kitchen. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> if the most important thing in life is to be comfortable at all times, then I think I've got it all figured out. Ah. <sighs> But wait, there's more. I haven't revealed the absolute best part about my whole setup. Do you have a prediction? What do you think the best part of the setup is? Think about it. Hmm, let's see if you were right. This is how my pals and I spend quality time together. It's much easier than trying to meet up somewhere like folks did in the old days. That's for sure. Yes, from this very couch, I can control everything in my life all the time with just a few taps and a couple clicks. Not bad, eh? Ah, uh, yes siree, this is the life. At least, that's what I thought until the other day. Something strange happened. There was a knock at the door. It was a delivery. It was my newest device, a video camera that would allow me to watch myself react while I was watching all my favorite shows. All I had to do was plug it in in my room. Nay, my kingdom would be complete. But suddenly, pew! Everything went dark. Look out, coming through. Whoops, oof. Ow, whoomp. Wow. 
I made it to the window and I pulled back the curtains. The sun seemed brighter than I remembered. <sighs> there was nothing to do, so I decided to take my dog Tater for a walk outside. It had been a while. Everything was so vivid, like a high resolution, 156 inch curved screen, but even more realistic. Something smelled mm, fresh. After a few moments, I realized it was air. I heard a noise, some chirps, a ringtone perhaps, but no, I looked up to see some birds. I wandered down the street from block to block and across the neighborhood. Eventually, I found a park with a hill. There was a massive tree on top. It looked like a desktop background, only it was actually real. Huh, neat, he says right here. I leaned against the tree. It wasn't as comfortable as my couch, not even close. But after a while, it wasn't so bad. <sighs> Any worries about the power outage and what I might be missing actually drifted away. I wasn't thinking about my favorite shows or my unanswered messages or anything else at all. I noticed the stillness, the view, the sky, the clouds, the sunset and those colors, my goodness. It took a while because there was no fast forward option, but eventually the sun sank below the horizon. By the time I got home, the power was back on. I sat on the couch, phew. I hit the button to brush my teeth, scritch a scratch a scratch a scratch -a. I pulled the lever to change in my pajamas, boop. I turned the knob to watch a bedtime story. Good night, Spud. Then I noticed my reflection in one of the screens. I wondered how much of my life had been spent in that very spot. It was then and there that I made the decision to peel myself off of the couch a bit more often, maybe even every day. And so that's what I've done. I've started hanging out with my friends, my best spuddies outside. We've started biking and hiking and swimming and hiding and seeking. And sometimes we have snacks and play board games. Sometimes we talk all day long. We might watch the clouds. There's no big plan. We just, you know, see what happens. It makes me wonder, what if I don't always need to be totally comfortable? What if I'm happier when I have a better balance between my gadgets and the world outside? Because it turns out that I'm more than just a couch potato. I'm an amusing potato. I'm a smart potato. I'm a kind potato. I'm an entertaining potato. And I'm a sit on a hill and watch the sunset potato too. Yes, there's a great big world out there and I want to be a part of it in person. Don't get me wrong though, at the end of a long day, after I've run and played and talked and laughed with my friends, I still think it's awfully nice to slouch on the couch. <sighs> the end. So, The Couch Potato. I love this book. So, so good. And my challenge to you today is to not slouch on the couch all day. Of course, that's a great thing to do for a little bit on a snow day, but 
after you get some work done, I would love for you to get outside and see the real world. Do some things that are not on an iPad or a video game or a TV, okay? So let's talk about your job today. In Seesaw, you have your choice board that looks like this. And remember, we talked about how you would choose activities from math that equal 30 minutes, activities from ELA that equal 30 minutes, and activities from the free choice or extra practice that equal 30 minutes. So for math today, your choices are subtractimals, recording yourself counting to 100 or higher on Seesaw, and playing war with a partner where the bigger number wins. We've done this in class as our math station a couple of times, so you guys are war experts. In ELA, you can choose to do a couple of iReady reading lessons. You can find things that rhyme in your house. We gave some examples today like a hat and a cat, or a sock and a clock. So take pictures of things that rhyme and send them to me on Seesaw. You could also practice reading three of the leveled books that I sent home in your backpack yesterday. Everybody has books to read at home now on their level. The other options are playing that lucky addition and subtraction math game on Seesaw. We played that in our math station this week, so you guys are experts on that. Remember, you're gonna need a dice or you can use the virtual dice online. And you'll need something to use as your game pieces, like a piece of um, Play-Doh or a Lego block or a coin or something. And you guys can teach your parents or your siblings how to play. You can do the art activity, which will be linked here for you to click on and do. Or we talked about this too, doing a couple chores around the house to help out. So that's your job for school today. I hope you guys have a wonderful snow day and a wonderful spring break. We will have lots of time off to, to do all kinds of fun things with our family. I can't wait to hear about all of your adventures and the stories when we come back together and get ready to do lots more learning and fun in kindergarten. I miss you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye.